first to get your treasure hunter safely back to camp, and you win. Ah! Superblock's Dream Builder's building sets. My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking! <laughs> My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking! My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking! That's nice, Harold. But what are they saying? They say that three strange dudes will come into my life. Hey! Who are you calling strange? Young Stereo! Kellogg's Rice Krispies are the front part of your complete breakfast. What do your Rice Krispies say to you? Mine says, beware of Aunt Rita. Once upon a time, the looniest, gooniest bird was born. His name? Melvin! Melvin's goofy nutty, and he wants to be your buddy. And all he wants to do is get worms. Melvin bops up and down, Melvin dances all around for those wiggly, jiggly little worms. Melvin! It's a wacky kind of race. The Looney Goonie Bird Game from Milton Bradley. No, TCR has three car racing. TCR! Gotta steer to win! Turn the wheel to change lanes. Turn again and pass the jam car. It's a moving obstacle. Use it to jam the track. No other racing gives you real steering and a three car challenge. TCR! Jam Car 500. Gotta steer! CR, new from Tyco. What brings a cool cat like you here? Wow, well, this totally awesome way. Now I need a really rad breakfast to help get me back home. Then follow your nose. Smell the natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors of Kellogg's Fruit Loops. A most delicious part of this complete breakfast. Another bowl? That'd be gnarly, dude. That means yes, doesn't it? Now, what makes sense, sir? Looks like a secret message. <laughs> You can send and receive secret messages with a Rescue Ranger secret decoder. Two free in Kellogg's Fruit Loops. So you like him? Yeah. You like him, like him? Yeah, but I'm sure he thinks I'm a geek. She must think I'm a total nerd. Every time I see her, she just ignores me. <laughs> He's got this hair that kind of goes, bloop. <laughs> so do you like her? She's okay, I guess. Yeah, you like her. When I'm around him, I just don't know what to say. Oh, look who's here. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> See, I told you she didn't like me. <laughs> Is he going yet? Listen, they're playing the pop, crackle, snap, rap. What? Pop, pop, crackle, snap, crackle, crackle, snap, pop, snap. Pop, pop, crackle, snap, crackle, crackle. <laughs> pop, pop, crackle. <laughs> Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the pop, pop, crackle, snap, crackle, crackle, snap, pop, snap, part of your complete breakfast. Pop, pop, crackle, snap, crackle, crackle, snap. Sounds like fun. It's Snap Crackle Pop's birthday, and you can get a present. An old-fashioned Rice Krispies truck. All you do is mail in one proof of purchase, and you're rolling. Uh, Happy birthday! Who's Kirby? Behind the flabby facade, a physical powerhouse. A street fighter. A weapons expert. He's whatever the situation demands. In Kirby's adventure, evil King Dede stolen Dreamland's dreams. Now Kirby's fighting to get him back. Level by nightmarish level. That's Kirby. He's cute. When you cross him, then he's one tough cream pop. Kirby's adventure, new on NES. Stardate 45484.7. While exploring a planet near the neutral zone, the Enterprise shuttlecraft comes under disruptive cannon fire from a Romulan warbird. 
the shuttlecraft fires back with its phases, which are deflected by the Romulan shields. Suddenly, the Enterprise appears, firing her photon torpedoes. Outgunned, the Romulan warbird activates its cloaking device and is gone. Under impulse power, Enterprise maneuvers out of orbit before engaging warp drive. Star Trek The Next Generation, new action accessories from Playmates. Luke, Luke, I'm hungry. An earthquake! Yow! Milton Moe, what are you doing? Too dang fam! I'm looking for breakfast, but it is so dark. You're in luck. My tasty Kellogg's Fruit Loops are in brighter colors. What's bright? Just follow my nose to the bright color of Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Now I see the shine of orange, lemon, cherry, and lime. Fruit Loops, the bright part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh, they are bright. Dig in. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, who turned out the light? A few more will turn you on. Follow your nose to a most colorful fruit taste. Yeah. Tetris 2! Tetris 2! Tetris 2! Tetris 2! Tetris 2! It's not just Tetris. Now challenge the system or go head to head. Different shapes, different shades, and this time, there's bombs in it. It's Tetris 2 on Game Boy or NES. Stop! Stop, evildoers! Introducing Super Stretching Superhero Stretch Armstrong! Yes, Stretch Armstrong! Now stretching fun farther than ever before! He bends, he stretches, even ties and knots, but always returns to his original shape! How does he do that? He's been doing that since he was a kid! <laughs> Stretch Armstrong from Cap Toys! Who else? The wild ones. They go everywhere and they really fly. The wild ones. They go anywhere you do. Racing with no track to hold you back. Impossible. Curves, bumps, spins. You control them. The wild ones. From Buddy L. First remote control, next radio control. Now there's voice control with voice command. Ready for command. Start the engine. Look, man, no hands. Let's move it now. Voice command, vehicles you control with special commands from Buddy L. Attack! Back. Think this battle's big? Get a load of the Sliminator. You push the chain and transform a cement truck into a vicious beast with jagged jaws. Cool! Sliminator takes to the sky. Attack! Back. He captures the enemy and gives them the slime of their lives. Yeah. Sliminator. He's one slimy character. Slimy! Attack Back Sliminator comes with slime gel. You put it together. Other vehicles sold separately. New from Hot Wheels. I heard him yelling in the castle. Fix me. His name be Brain. Fix me. I said, I'm going to fix you. <coughs> My talking monster, Big Frank. I'll fix you, Big Frank. Monster Boy's Fix. <laughs> How do you feel now, Frank? I'm alive. It's always fun to fix him. My talking monster, Big Frank. <laughs> Thank you. Big Frank talks and his eyes light up. Battery's not included. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy squealed when I smoked him like a delicious of sausage. Go, Freddy! <laughs> Join Spark to the Crush the Swine Army in Konami's Rocket Knight Adventures. For Sega Genesis, unleash your animal urges with the only possum to hang with. Pigs fly with a blast of his sword and he's rocket powered. I love the smell of bacon in the morning. <laughs> Play possum on Rocket Knight Adventures from Konami. <laughs> What makes New Buñuelito cereal a Mexican adventure? Which is fun to say, is it easy to eat? Come on! The sweet, crunchy combination of cinnamon and a touch of honey is a Mexican adventure of fun in every bite. The cinnamon and honey part of this balanced breakfast. As fun to say, as it is to eat. <laughs> Crazy Charlie was on the loose, but so was a maniac. Let go, maniac! Crazy Charlie was crazy to think he'd escape a Lego maniac. The Lego System Town Rescue Collection, each set sold separately. Maniac not included. In the future, you have to defrost a cop to put a criminal on ice. Sylvester Stallone is John Spartan, the demolition man. 
the toughest cop in the 21st century. But Wesley Snipes is cold-blooded Simon Phoenix. Silence is free! Uh, now fry like a chicken, chicken. But Demolition Man always keeps his cool. Hey, you didn't say Simon said. The future isn't big enough for the both of them. Demolition Man, figures of Bola Jet each sold separately, new from Mattel. <laughs> bumble around with the bumble ball, baby. Bumble, bumble, bumble around. Silly little ball, and it don't mean maybe make you laugh when you pick it up or put it down. Everybody loves trying to get a handle on the bumble ball. This gentle, wacky bumble motion keeps you busy or puts you in a tizzy. Are we having a ball or just losing our grip? Who cares? Bumble around with the bumble ball, baby. It's the wackiest ball in town. The bumble ball from Ertl. without you and with my new batman the animated series tapes every move you make determines batman fate should i take the bat plane or the batmobile Batmobile. you choose every move you criminals have had it who should i get first mr freeze or the penguin penguin to xl's new batman the animated series audio tapes it's a different adventure every time well, baby surprise! Triplets! And giggle triplets! Cute! Uh-oh, they're playing! I know what to do. I can even make them laugh. Oh. <laughs> How much fun for me to be caring for three. I love my fuss and giggle triplets. Are they boys or girls? You'll see. It's a girl, a boy, a girl. Wow, you're so lucky. I love my fuss and giggle triplets. Fuss and giggle triplet styles laugh and cry in their carrier for three. Batteries not included. New from Magic Nursery. With fashion plates, you can be a designer. A fashion plates, fashion designer. With fashion plates, I design the hottest looks. T-shirts, blue skirts, then change of plates and color too for a look that's totally new. And now there are new wedding fashion plates. With wedding fashion plates, I design the most beautiful wedding gowns. Complete with sticker bouquets. You're a fashion plates, fashion designer. Fashion plates and new wedding fashion plates, each sold separately. This is the Micro Machines Battle Tank. And when it stops rolling, the battle gets going. Because it transforms into a Micro Machines secret military base. Real cool! The battle begins with a direct hit. But these troops and tanks plan a counterattack. They take out the bridge and fire their missiles. Yeah! The battle's done for today. You can pack her up and take it away. New Micro Machines Battle Tank. You put it together. Vehicles and figures sold separately. Now be polite when you meet Mrs. Vanderlug and do as you're told. This is Vanderlug! Time to have some fun. Come and tell me she doesn't have a ball. Let's do everything. Do as you're told. Love some play. That way. Jump this car. Play one more. Jump in Jesus. Did you mind Mrs. Vanderlug? They did everything they were told. Where a kid can be the kid. Once there were some icicle bears Looking for your hug and care Changing before your eyes Each bear's color is a surprise <laughs> Surprise! Look! A pink heart! <laughs> wow! Tickle your bear with a frozen locket A purple flower! Turn your icicle bear white with hugs Then you'll tickle them back with love <laughs> You'll be tickled by Icicle Bear Your icicle bear could be pink, purple, or blue Changes color with locket that you freeze Each sold separately now kids can talk to someone who speaks their own language. With the record and playback telephone, the line is always busy. <laughs> Fisher Price has a hip sax that's got all the cats going crazy. And it does something no other sax can do. The Fisher Price bubble sax. It not only plays jazz, it plays pop. Heads right, heads left, heads up, new heads up 9.6 feet turbo hopper with heads up steering. The driver's head looks where you turn, and they got 9.6 feet turbo rechargeable power for extra speed on road or off. Yahoo! Heads up turbo hopper. Battery sold separately. Last time those guys said I wasn't good enough, but this time Tony and I are ready. Go to the back end and then shoot. That away. Winners practice hard and eat smart, like this complete breakfast, including the sweet crunch of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They are great. Can I play? I don't know. Can you? Here goes.
With new Jumping Colors markers, you can draw a picture with the special markers. Then you can use the UC3D glasses that come in the box. And Jumping Colors, it turns 3D, almost jumps off the page. Another picture, use the UC3D glasses and Jumping Colors, it turns 3D. Oops. New Jumping Colors markers. Crayola, Crayola jumps. From Crayola. This is the top speed pipe fight set. Yes! Can you make it through the pipe? Too fast. Let's see that in slow motion. Do it again! This time, aim your launcher to make them crash. Pipe fight, pipe fight, pipe fight! Yeah! You control the fight. Pipe fight. Hot Wheels top speed ultra pipe fight set comes with two cars and launchers. For use only with top speed cars. You put it together. Let's you create the coolest stickers on the planet. Fantastic sticker. Fantastic sticker maker. Made by me. Fantastic sticker maker comes with everything you need to make over 70 stickers your parents help with setup. Fantastic color surprise. Fantastic color surprise flowers. Wow, they turn purple. Fantastic color surprise. Made by me. Fantastic flowers color surprise set and refill. Each sold separately. My pretty topsy tail. comes with sparkle fashion, ribbons, bows, barrettes, and a special topsy tail. The greedy pirates came looking for the Islander's treasure, but what they found was a maniac. Lego maniac! Only a Lego maniac could turn nasty pirates into lunch. Lego maniac! The Lego System Islanders collection. Each set sold separately. Maniac not included. What? What? If you want to be cool, helmets are the rule. Oh shit. Okay. Fuck, I took too long. So. <laughs> Connect roller coaster. Oh, what the fuck? All right, whatever. I don't. I don't care. I. I really don't care. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Video Game Fight Club, the only Twitch stream on the internet that reminds you of the seven horrifying side effects to the stream and everything. So like. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the only Twitch stream where we bully those who talk about anime. What's up, Panda? How are you doing today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you doing, man? What's up? Like, okay, I, you know, I already got like my my bullying, uh, like my 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 bullying things like ready and stuff like that. So I'm I'm so ready for it. I'm so ready for it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just chilling. What are you doing, Sparta? And stuff. So, like, yeah, what have you been up to today and stuff, man? So, like, um, what was I gonna say? So, yeah, not much and stuff. So, like, uh, I'm blanking out, dude. Like, I, I totally don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like it's a, it's just another day it was like i just i went to work i like built bikes like i did my job and like pretty well if i do say so myself and stuff like i was just thinking to myself i was just like dude like i've been building bikes for like a year now and stuff and like it's crazy i've never would have thought like i would have been like building bikes and stuff but like yeah i feel pretty good at it like i feel pretty good at fixing bikes setting them up like make sure everything is like they're correct and stuff like that i'm, I'm, I'm basically a pro right now guys like <laughs> relax relax i know i know i know like but anyways like um other than that like yeah sorry for starting late like i had to go talk to like my my landlord about like my electricity and everything because like i've been having electrical issues in my house and stuff so like um I don't know, like, a lot of y'all have experienced, like, my, 
like the shit that's been happening in like my stream where like all of a sudden like like the power just goes out to like my my camera like my microphone but not my capture card my capture card is directly plugged into like my my computer thank god and stuff but like yeah so like my landlord came in and he checked everything and he was just like okay i know what to do so like he's gonna replace like some fuses tomorrow i hope and stuff so like i shouldn't be having any like more issues with stream or like my house or anything like that because it really did suck i was just like come on like this is like really like fucking like getting in the way of like not just like streams but like my livelihood and my house and stuff like that you know so i'm doing good i gained some weight which is good since i've been stressing so much i gotta get back to like 130 uh pounds so like hell yeah dude hell yeah hell yeah yeah, I was, uh, how was your stuff about your electrical outlets? So, like, yeah, he just, he came over, and I was just like, y you gotta see this shit, dude. So, like, I was just like, you know, like, like, I turn on my microwave, dude, and, like, all the lights just start going fucking crazy and stuff like that, dude. So, like, yeah, if I actually go, like, heat up, like, a cup of milk right now or whatever like that, that shit's gonna, like, blow out and stuff. Or it's not gonna blow out, it's just gonna, like... Like, all, like, everything, like, that's plugged into, like, my walls around my house and stuff are just going to go crazy. Like, you can see it with, like, my lights and stuff like that. And, like, the camera disconnects, the microphone disconnects, like, pretty much everything that just, like, fucks up and everything. So, like, um, what else is I gonna say? So, um, I mean, other than that, like, he checked it. I also reminded him of, like, my oven. I was just like, because, like, my oven hasn't been working for a while. So, like, since... I've moved in. So how many months has it been already? It's, I think it's been like a couple, like three to four months already, I think. I, I don't know, but it's been a while already, honestly. So like, and he still hasn't fixed it. So, but yeah, I told him, I was just like, so have, are, are you going to fix that? Like, have you like found somebody to like get to like fix like my oven? And you know what this motherfucker said? He was just like, Oh, I forgot. I'll send somebody. Like, I, I remember now. I was just like, I can't believe you, dude. So I've been kind of like ovenless because you're you mother. This motherfucker forgot to like send over somebody to like fix like my oven and stuff, dude. I, I was mad. I was fucking mad, dude. <laughs> it's haunted, but yeah, occasionally I saw lights flicker in the background when you stream. Really? <laughs> oh my god it's not it's not haunted it's it's i mean like i i like to think that it was haunted dude and stuff it's funny because like okay i'm gonna be honest with you dude because i it started doing that when i started playing doki doki panic a uh, doki doki panic doki doki literature club and like dude that game is so fucking scary dude so like and like dealing with like electrical issues when that start when I was playing that was like fucking freaky dude because I, I felt like the game was like doing that and stuff dude I don't know I, it just like scared the shit out of me <laughs> but no it's just like it, I think it's just an old apartment it just needs to be like updated every so often this guy said I forgot right it, it was bullshit I was just like come on man come on man <laughs> anyways like um yeah so tomorrow like what are we doing well what are we doing today today we're going to be playing some kingdom hearts as much as i can so like and then we'll, we'll probably just play kingdom hearts and maybe not even play mario maker or whatever like that so we'll see we'll see what's up what we'll do with that and stuff and um what else is, was i gonna say so like um and then tomorrow i was gonna do like a special stream and everything just a sporadic one because it's like getting like darker like uh earlier at my at, at in the bay now and stuff like that and i, I thought it would be like kind of cool to actually do like a like a nighttime bike ride and stuff like i don't know i was like thinking about like going to the bay bridge and stuff so like i, I want to try that out i want to see if that works and stuff i want to like stream it and stuff and like yeah I, I gotta like figure out how i'm gonna like mount like my phone like to like my like my bike and stuff like that like yeah I, I i won't know how to do that so but we'll we'll figure that out we'll figure that out <laughs> um but yeah that's gonna be like a super short stream for tomorrow like maybe like 30 minutes to like an hour or whatever like that um but yeah it should be fun so 
yeah, crossing the bridge with an, a, a bike in the middle of the night, like, not the middle of the night, but like, in the dark and stuff. That would be cool and stuff. Hey, hey, been a long time. What's up, Ollie Ray Chevy? How are you doing? Welcome back. So, <laughs> what have you been up to and stuff? So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This time change thing fucked with my sleep schedule. I slept until 11.45 today. Was supposed to wake up at 6. God damn. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. So, yeah, it's been kind of weird. Like, it didn't, like, for me, it didn't throw me that much off and stuff. I just kind of, like, readjusted, I guess. <laughs> but it is weird. It's, it's fucking weird leaving to my house at 5.30. And everything is like dark already and stuff. I'm good. I got a new job, lol, and I got obsessed with a with a new YouTube channel. Ooh, what YouTube channel? And congrats on the job! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I, I'm I, I'm I, I'm hope you're I, I hope you're liking it and stuff. Like hell yeah! <laughs> hell the fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> uh, well, what else is I gonna say? So like. Um, yeah, that, that's great, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, what else is I gonna say? I don't know. I, I don't have much to say anymore and stuff, so. It's dumb, we gotta uh, vote to get rid of the time change since farmers can do all the stuff online now, so like, yeah, dude. <laughs> we have the internet, man. Like, oh, man, these freaking farmers, man, they, they can do their their own thing and stuff, you know? Thanks, it's nothing special, but it pays, lol. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hey, you- Oh, shit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> hey, it's something, you know? I'm at- I'm still. Congrats, congrats. So, but... But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... What was I gonna say? Yeah, I, I... I don't have much to say. So, like I said, let's hop into... Kingdom Hearts! Kingdom Hearts. Unless if you're Amish. What do you mean? What do you mean, dude? <laughs> okay, so ba, dun, dun. okay. Do this real quick. Boom 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 ba, dun, 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 dun. Okay, I got this working. And then I'm gonna like deactivate this one last time. Okay, there we go. I got it working now. I got it working now. All right, I'm gonna mute this now, so... Okay. Um... Is that the right one right there? Like, I don't know. Yes, it was. Like, what, what was the level called again? Hollow Bastion. Okay. Anyways, like, thank you everybody for, like, being here and stuff. So, like, cheers. Cheers, my homies. Uh, I hope no electrical issues happen. Like, so once again, like, if, like, my camera cuts off or whatever, uh, it's because my house is, like, tripping or whatever. So, yeah. But I think that should be resolved by tomorrow. Okay. Anyways. Get to it. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. 
Meow. Poltergeist activity in your house, so like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a ghost in my house, so... The ghost with the most? Uh, metal chocobo. I think that's the, the strongest weapon I have, the metal chocobo. Strength. My dad doesn't know I took a beer from him. Obviously, I'll pay him back, but I just wanted to have one drink. Word, word. <laughs> I steal food from my my dad all the time and stuff. I took a banana from him, so. <laughs> like, I don't know. He always has like a shit ton of bananas with him for some reason. I don't get how people drink light beers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like light beers either, so like they're weird to me. So I, I get you on that. son I don't know which one to choose I think I'm just gonna leave him like that abilities Sora the two treasure magnet <clears throat> goofy So which ones are the ones that we can do? We can't do that one. Hmm. Okay, we can't do anything right here either. Shared. Okay, but one more thing. I, I feel like... Heather... See, like, this motherfucker doesn't have anything, so like... Exchange Go to Donald. It's hold on. <laughs> I can steal shit from this motherfucker. I just realized that too as well. I'm gonna really use like beast at all. He is powerful, but at the same time, I'm just like, nah, nah, nah. Okay. I just need to remember how to get to the boss fight again and stuff because I, I actually don't. Oh! 
Oh shit. Oh! Did you watch any good scary movies around Halloween? So like, I want to say yes. Like, so we watched Halloween as a community on Discord, and that one was a good one right there. And what else I, did I watch? I watched this. I like I subscribed to Shutter, and I gotta keep watching Shutter. But I'm like currently watching Netflix. Uh, but yeah, th that's that's another story. But like, yeah, what did I watch for Halloween? So like I watched on Shutter I watched this movie called Deadstream. It's about this YouTuber slash streamer who like streams himself like inside of a haunted house and like weird shit happened to him and stuff like that and like bad stuff. So I thought it was funny, it was interesting. It wasn't the best movie, I thought but yeah, it was entertaining and stuff. Uh another movie I watched was Mandy, and like that one is it's really cool it's like it stars nicholas cage and like uh it's it's about like these cultists that steal nicholas's or kidnap nicholas cage's um like um like girlfriend and stuff like that and he he's trying to like save her or whatever and stuff like that but i thought that movie was a trip because like it's so psychedelic and like its visuals were like so cool and just weird and stuff like that so Oh, I heard Mandy is sick. It's really cool. It remind also reminded me a lot of the Evil Dead, but like without demons and stuff like that. It's just like cultists and everything like that, and a lot of drugs for sure. So, uh, are you almost done with the the game, or is it more to it? I think like Boyo was saying that I was almost done with it, but he was also telling me that there's a shit ton of bosses that I'm gonna have to face right now. Um, I heard it's very rock and roll inspired. Yes. Yes, it is <laughs> Very like, you know, like those old-timey fucking like rock albums and stuff like that, you know, like Dio or um, What else? Uh, Holy Diver. Yeah, that's still Dio uh, it, the, the artwork reminds me like the the the, the artwork for Dio is What the Mandy reminds me of and stuff like that, you know, so have you seen The Village by M. Night Shyamalan? So, like, I, I feel like I have and stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't want to give the plot twist and stuff like that, but I think I know what it is and stuff. It's like this village being hunted by, like, these monsters at night or whatever like that. Yeah, totally. That's what it makes. That what's that's what makes me want to see Mandy. Dude, it's really good. I, I recommend it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, what else? Uh, I saw like the the new Hellraiser on Hulu. That was pretty good. It's like I don't know. It was weird because like it just it it wasn't as violent as a lot of people were saying, but it still made me feel like disgusting and stuff like that. I was just like, ah, you guys are just like pulling skin off and everything like that and doing nasty shit like. <laughs> It was a cool movie, though. I want to go see Smile. Oh, dude. Like, yeah, I've heard about that one and stuff, so. Mm, that one looks cool. Oh! 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 Everybody needs to go watch Barbarian and stuff. That one is a really good one right there. So, like, I really enjoyed watching Barbarian. <laughs> I actually went to go see that movie in the theaters, homie. So, like... <laughs> Oh my god, that movie is fucking like Like it's I don't want to give anything I you have to go see that movie blind honestly so like cuz The the less you know the better and stuff. Uh, what's your favorite current adaptation of a classic horror movie? So like classic horror movie. Hmm. Huh. That's a good question. I Don't know <laughs> That's the one I wanted to see was Barbarian. So like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, how was it? It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Like, I think 
A lot of people were also saying they didn't like it and stuff like that, which was funny. But I found it entertaining and comedic and stuff. Also, how are you doing, Vini? What? Welcome back! <laughs> My favorite current adaptation of a classic horror movie? Dang. I, I, I might want to say, like, The Evil Dead and stuff. Like, but that's kind of, like, cheating because I feel like Evil Dead is also, like, one of my favorite, like, horror franchises and stuff. And, uh, like, the remake, like, the, the, the remake from, like, 20... What year was it? 2013, 2014 or something like that? It was really good. Like, it, it's super bloody and it's, like, very disgusting for sure. <laughs> and it has, like, new characters and, like, kind of a newish storyline. But I, I thought that was, I, I, it was, like, kind of faithful and stuff like that. So I, I want to say the Evil Dead. So I had Barbarian spoiled for me. But if you say it's good, I'll put it on my list. Yeah, I, I, I recommend it. I recommend it. I, I, it's, it's funny, too, and stuff. There's, like, some scenes that I just, like, started, like, fucking cracking up. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to give it away, but, like, I, I definitely think everybody should watch it and stuff. It's on, like, HBO Max. The menu looks good. I'm going to go see it next weekend, so. The menu? What is that one right there? Cool. Uh, the film penned by Will Tracy and Seth R Rice. Focuses on a young couple who visits an, an exclusive destination restaurant on a remote island where the acclaimed chef has prepared a, val a lavish tasting menu. Acclaimed chef has prepared a lavish... Oh, wait. Along with some shocking surprise dead deadline notes. <laughs> it looks cool. <clears throat> but yeah, Evil Dead. Evil Dead. I think that one's cool. Uh, they, they still haven't shown the trailer for, like, Evil Dead Rise, like, the new Evil Dead movie that was supposed to, that is supposed to come out next year, I think around, like, March or something like that. They only showed off a picture, but it looks cool. I'm excited. I have no idea what that movie is going to be about, <laughs> but super excited about it. Are you more of a jump scare or a gory horror movie or a paranormal type? Horror movies that have come out, like Insidious and stuff. I really, I, I'm more like gory, I would say. I don't know. But I also love the paranormal stuff as well. So like, oh, Jesus. Okay, thank you. There we go. I haven't been jump scared since Blair Witch. Nice, nice. Like, I don't like jump scary movies, honestly. Like, I think those are just kind of like cheap scares. And like, sometimes like the stories for those movies, like, oh, like the whole point of those movies is to like scare you, like, or startle you, I guess, more than anything. But yeah, gor gory movies, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, uh, again, going back to The Evil Dead, I, I really enjoy movies where, like, the protagonists or a group of people just fight demons or monsters and stuff like that, and just, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, just, like, it, it's just violent and everything. <laughs> it's, it's fun. I also enjoy, like, slashers and stuff, like, uh, Friday the 13th and, um, like Halloween and stuff. So like, well, I, I actually recently watched that one, the first one. So it was really good. <laughs> I gotta watch the rest and stuff. So yeah, but paranormal ones are actually cool too. Some jump scares are good, but yes, they're overused. But I personally like paranormal movies. Nice, nice. So yeah, like I think like. Jump scares, if like they're like if it's just a movie that just constantly tries to jump scare you, like I feel like the effect kind of wears out and stuff like that, you know? So like it, it has to be put to good use and anything. Like there has to be like good timing and to actually like be effective, you know, and stuff. 
Man, we will watch Blair Witch every Friday the 13th back in high school. We used to throw parties for every Friday the 13th, get candy, and start with Blair Witch as we chose what to watch next. Oh my gosh. Yeah, paranormal ones have the ability to be more creative. Right, right. <laughs> I I haven't seen that movie. I have to watch the Blair Witch, honestly. <laughs> that one is so... Like, it's so... It's so renowned, I guess. I, I guess that's the word I was trying to, like, say. But I feel like that's the, that's the type of movie I would like to as well. Like, I don't know. Like, dark spaces, flashlights, and, uh... Yeah, I, I, I kind of like that. I, I kind of just like... Places in, in the dark and stuff, you know? Well, that sounds awesome. I want to have a movie party like that. Yeah, I honestly, that's, that does sound awesome. Agree, there's more creativity and more outcomes you can do with paranormal movies. I say the book... It scared uh, me more than the movie. Really? Yo. Yeah, I've heard that the book is so much more weirder, dude. So, like... Yeah, one thing I, I find, like, that I always keep bringing up about that book that I find funny is that I think at one point, like, the kids, like, meet this giant turtle or something, this turtle god, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's really weird, but yeah, there's, like, a fucking, like, eternal turtle they talk to or whatever like that. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always find that so funny that... But I, I mean, like, I think in the context of the book it would make more sense if you read it and stuff. Did you ever see Wreck? It was a Spanish version of the movie, I can't remember. First person recording of a haunted house or something? Yes, I have seen that one. <laughs> oh my god, I've seen it in Netflix a long time ago. I, I think I even saw the sequel? Like, yeah, 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 the American version was called Quarantine or something like that. I think I've seen that one too, but it wasn't as good as Wreck. It's been a minute since I watched that movie though, so like... <laughs> oh man, that one was wild though, like... Oh, sh I forgot what movie it is where they explore the catacombs. Uh, I think that one is as below as as below as something like that. As above, so below or something. I think that's what it's called. I remember watching that movie in theaters. That one was cool. It was freaky. In Paris, yeah, yeah, as below, as, as above, so below. Oh, but I forgot to say this, uh, Ollie Ray. So like, I've recently been watching Cabinet of Cabinet of Curiosity, Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosity, and like, holy shit, that's that series is so good. I really recommend everybody to watch it and stuff. So like, like it's like sh horror shorts curated by Guillermo del Toro and stuff. So like, and like, I I've been enjoying it a lot. I don't know, it's it's they're, they've been cool. <laughs>
Dude, if you want to see the most hilarious horror movie, look up Piñata Survival Island. My buddy and I were up like 3 a.m. in one night and happy to be on super ridiculous, horrible CGI and that combination made it more of a comedy. <laughs> Piñata Survival Island? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm going to look this up right now. What? Okay. Um... Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Oh okay, yeah, I got the Wikipedia page right here. And I was just like, no, it's not called this. But, okay, so let me just read the, like, the... The description on the Wikipedia page. Demon Island, also Piñata, also called Piñata, Survival Island, is a 2002 horror film that stars Nicholas Brendan and Jamie Presley. So, like... That's funny, dude. It's also called Demon Island. What? <laughs> okay, I kind of want to watch the the trailer for this thing right here. Like, is there a trailer? Uh, yes, there is a trailer. Pinata, Survival Island. So, it's always cheesy, bad CGI horror movies that are actually more funny than anything, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Battle Royale Japanese was a good but different movie. I, I remember seeing that one. That one was interesting. Okay, here it is. I'm playing the trailer for this thing right here, so. Uh, let me just, like, pull up this thing. And then. Did the legend say anything about it coming to life? Not that I recall. How do you explain that? We were hitting it with a stone, trying to break it open to see what was inside. And when we finally cracked it... Overseas film crew. <laughs> On a deserted island, 12 college students will play a game. <laughs> it's always the college students, man. <laughs> <laughs> but what they discover unleashes an ancient evil. <laughs> it's just so Somebody cheesy. Just, we're stopping the game. Who? What happened? Is it serious? Oh my god. I saw, but I know what I saw. Someone or something's out there. We have to get off this island. Press to stop being hunted and start doing the hunting. <laughs> oh my god. You are completely right, man. So cheesy. I gotta watch this. I gotta see where I can find this. On streaming or whatever like that. <laughs> Piñata! Survival Island. <laughs> you don't get voted off this island. <laughs> Yo, what a fucking silly name too as well, dude. Like, that that doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Like, Piñata? Like... <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is this? <laughs> they have scenes of the Piñata running and it's so bad. Oh my god, I gotta check that out. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I gotta see, like, where can you watch this on streaming and anything, so. No, you can't. Uh, it's a silly film about a giant monster piñata that kills a group of people on the island that are playing some underwater hunting game. What the hell? So, like, the, oh, that's why it's called Piñata Survival Island. Oh. Because the piñata is the monster and stuff. Wow. Everything about it, about that was cheesy. Epic voiceover for what? <laughs> oh my god. Hell yes. You can't even watch it on streaming. You actually have to like buy this movie. Like, like it's $22 on Amazon. Fuck no. I'm not paying that amount of money. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can find it on eBay. Uh, $8, $10, $4. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. I do recommend watching Barrel Royale. It is a good movie well for what it is and stuff. So I know I remember watching that movie a long time ago. I remember the hype surrounding that movie, dude. So like it was it was cool. Like there was like other like sequels to that. I think I even watched the sequels too. But I I kinda lost interest in the sequels. I was just like this This is weird. <laughs> Like, the first one was good. I don't know about the sequels. Okay. I think, isn't Battle Royale, like, the inspiration for a lot of... For the Battle Royale genre? Uh, okay, I'm leaving. I think I can just keep going. Yeah, the sequels were weird, but the first one was good. Yeah, that's true. That's totally true. I fucks with the first one. Like, the sequels were like, meh. <laughs> okay. Piñata. Survival item. Island. Okay. Okay. Are we good? I bet you these mofos. These mofos already used all their fucking potions, dude. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. I like fucking stocked them up with like. I gave them a Milga elixir and stuff like that. I'm fucking pissed, dude. And these motherfuckers used it. Like, wow. Mr. B should buy an island, kidnap 100 kids, tell them you will win 100, and fight each other for a victory royale. <laughs> that would be messed up, dude. But I feel like that's... I, I, I could see something like that happening and stuff, you know? Shoot, at this rate, they could do it in the metaverse. <laughs> That's Mark Zuckerberg's ultimate plan right there, is to, like, have everybody in the metaverse uh, do, like, a battle royale. That's... I don't know if, like, y'all heard this, like, or read this article. I don't really read the headline, but I thought this was, like, the weirdest fucking thing. I was just like, of course. Oh, shit, I also realized I muted my gameplay and stuff. Um... Like, like, yeah, I read this, I read the headline for this article, which I was just like, of course, this millionaire is making some dumb bullshit like that, like in his spare time and stuff. But like the, the, the founder of Oculus Rift or like the company Oculus, he made an actual headset apparently that if you lose in a certain video game or whatever like that, the headset just fucking kills you apparently or whatever like that. And apparently it's an homage to like Sword Art Align, like the anime and stuff. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is like, this is not even funny, dude. Like, why would you make something that terrible? <laughs> I don't know. Like, spend your money on like other shit, dude. Like, I 
Elon might do it and winner gets a blue check mark. <laughs> oh hell no, dude. Oh bro. Oh, I hate it here. <laughs> Bro, okay, anime, real time, quick. But Oculus Trif, uh are trying to make the nerve gear from Sword Art Line, and it will kill you if you die in the game. No, 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 no. That's this. That's just like the that the the founder's name of Oculus. His name is Palmer Lucky. He has nothing to do with Oculus anymore. So like, that's not even a Facebook thing. Oh my god. Okay, damn, me and Panda on the same page. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. It's so crazy how, what fucking billionaires want to do, man. Lol, that's messed up. People think gaming is dangerous. It might become true. Yeah, if like... Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> it's scary though that people want to do that right it's just like why would you make something like that like i don't know it's it's so weird Look at that frame rate. Look at that frame rate. <laughs> As if we don't have enough ways to die already. <laughs> what do you mean? I've always wanted to die playing video games in VR. Oh my God. Oh my god. How do I get up to her and stuff? There we go. I got her! Oh! Oh! This was only my first farm! <laughs> Uh, not gonna lie though, it, uh, I do if, like, wait, 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 hold on, sorry, I'll read that in just a second. Donald learn cheer? No way. Obtain Ansem's report five, so. Okay. Not gonna lie, though, I'll do it if I get paid if it was, like, sort on my line. You gotta get, like, uh, to the 100th floor. I'm really good, good at games like Sword Art Online, so, like, word, word, and shit! You have to be really good at that game, then, so, like... Okay. 41... 39. Yes, we're gonna save over here. <clears throat>
You know, if they ever do like Kaizo Mario, I'll do it. <laughs> but I have to win like a, an absurd amount of money and stuff. And if if I do a shell, a shell, a shell jump wrong, then people can you punch me in the help? face. Riku. A what? Yes, a Keyblade. But unlike yours, this Keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! No. What the fuck? Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself! What the fuck? I am the Tokyo Ghoul. This is it. This power! <laughs> darkness! The true darkness! Is this where she becomes a dragon, dude? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go! This is fucking hype and shit, dude! Oh my god! Dova King! Dova King! Da -da 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 -da. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to like play that real quick, dude. So like <laughs> I gotta play that real quick, dude. I gotta play some Dovakin, bro. Dovakin. Alright. Oh. Oh. Wait, hold on. Come on, get to the good part. Oh. Oh, oh shit. The song did not work, dude. The song did not work. Wicked Witch of the East, bro. So, hell yeah. <laughs> Skyrim? Yeah, we're playing Skyrim all of a sudden. Did you know that? Okay, I think that the, the cutscene needs to play again and stuff, so... I died because I... Like, I did the summon and everything right there, so... And, uh... Damn. So like first things first, I have to like do the fucking the the windshield and stuff. Do you need some help? Riku. A what? Yes, a keyblade. But unlike yours, this keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! No. Behold! Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself! Manga Slap is better this than is the anime for this Tokyo Ghoul. Our... Are your Tokyo Ghouls really bad? The true darkness! Senor Puyo always makes jokes about Tokyo Ghoul, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, now we can play this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Let's go! I'll fuck you up! I'll fuck you up, little girl!
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not gonna lie, Angelina Jolie's Maleficent kinda hot. She's cool in that movie. I have to watch that movie too. I hear it's pretty cool uh cool. Of course, but I like her in Alexander in as Colin Farrow's uh Colin Farrow's mom, so <laughs> word uh never seen that movie, Alexander. So yeah, that fire will get you. So like, hey, Shaggy Pac-Man. Uh, not her. Her and Wanted or Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So like, so she's cool. She's cool. How are you doing? I like her as Tigress in Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Do you need some help? I like her in Riku. in what's a silly movie from her? I don't know. Yes, a keyblade. But unlike yours, this keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Just got back from work. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Time to relax now. Now. This is a really heart. hard boss, too. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself. This is it. This power. <laughs> darkness. The true darkness. I want to do what, see what Tinkerbell does. Been doing my own thing between my new job and the thing I'm trying to make my job. Also, might see Wakanda Forever this weekend. Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah, that sounds awesome. I honestly don't know what Tinkerbell does, man. So far, I'm not liking Tinkerbell. Oh, Tink, uh, heals you? Okay. Oh, it's bad. Motherfucker's almost dead. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Oh my god. Oh my god. Tink, Tink actually, like, was actually came in clutch, no count. Okay. I'm waiting to see why does this anime uh, guy want to make her super evil? I don't know, honestly. I'm waiting to see what the reviews are for it, so, like, I'm sure it's going to be Power really up. good. She was just another puppet after all. 
What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. A fitting. A fitting end for such a fool. Okay, so... Uh, if Wakanda does good, then I'll go see it. But I'm just saying Namor doesn't have fucking wings on his feet. So, like... <laughs> I'm really excited about that. I think... Namor... Like, because he's, like, supposed to be, like, an Aztec, like... Hero or something like... Or a villain? And I find that kind of interesting, honestly. So, like... I think that's really cool. So, like... Hold on, so, let me... Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Uh... So, uh, I'm seeing it because I have mad respect for Ch Chadwick and I miss him. Word, yeah. And none of the MCU comes on, uh, costumes are comic accurate, to be fair. I will agree with you, but I like my MCU to be comic accurate. Who show, who show? Yeah. Honestly, I just want to watch my MC movie, MCU movies. And, uh, I don't know. I, I really... <laughs> I'm kind of the opposite. I'm just like, yeah, I just want to see something kind of cool. I just want to see punches being flown around. You know? <laughs> Tink is my favorite Kingdom one, uh, Hearts 1 summon. So, like, word, yeah, she, like, she came in clutch, man, so... I got my niece a kid's meal from McDonald's yesterday. They have Wakanda Forever toys. She didn't want the toys, so now I have a Black Panther toy chilling next to my Shenron and on from Shaman King figures. Nice! Hell yeah, dude! Yo, I missed out on the fucking adult Happy Meal, dude. I tried to actually go a couple times to McDonald's, and um, they ran out, honestly. And I was kind of mad about that. I was just like, shit. And like, well, the first time I went, there was a really long ass line for like the adult Happy Meal or just like in the drive through. And I was just like, yeah, no, I'm not going to wait that long. But I don't know. Maybe the 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 adult Happy Meal was overhyped. <laughs> oh. Anna, my bad. Oh no, I, it's all good, bro. <laughs> Honestly, I don't watch uh, Shaman King, so I, <laughs> I wasn't even sure if, if that was wrong or right and stuff, dude. So, oh whoa, okay. <gasps> no. What's her name again? Snow White. <laughs> and then it's fucking Alice, dude. Holy shit, Belle. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, is that? I don't even know who, what her name is and stuff, dude. That's Cinderella, right? No, this is Cinderella right here, and this is Jasmine. Like, uh, this is the girl from fucking. Um, is this the one from Beauty and the Beast? No, I can't. No, 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 no. This is that's from Beauty and the Beast. That's Belle. This is from like. I don't know what her name is and stuff, so like, well, what makes the adult Happy Meal different from the kids one? So like, it has a Big Mac or like a, I think, 10-piece chicken McNugget in it and stuff. And like a, a special limited edition toy and stuff. Chowman King underrated as fuck, so like... The toys have six eyes, so like... Yeah, I, I guess, you know? Yeah, it's, it's really weird. Aurora, I, yeah, Aurora, that's right. Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Kyrie. Kyrie. Kyrie, open your eyes. It's no use. That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. What? You... you're not Riku? The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last Princess of Heart still sleeps. The 
princess? Kyrie's a princess? Yes. And, and without, without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go. Give him back his heart. But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What's... Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. What? <laughs> Kyrie. Kyrie's inside me? I know all that there is to know. <laughs> Tell me, who are you? It is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. So, I shall release you now, Princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. Sora! <laughs> Forget it. There's no way you're taking Kyrie's heart. Biggest plot twist of my 10 year old life. Respect to Donald ready to throw hands for his uh, surrogate son, Sora. on goofy and donald best dad so <laughs> i've never actually seen anyone use the keyblade for this fight i love seeing different play styles though so really how how are you supposed to like fight this uh because like that was like the first thought that i had i guess you know okay. wait do i have to fight no i don't have to fight her again do i Okay, we fucked up by going down here to okay. No, 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 no. Okay, I know where we're going. It all depends on you. I usually go with Spellbinder or Crab Claw since I go for magic builds. Word, word. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with just my Keyblade then. Okay. There. You don't have to fight Melissa Fint again. Thank God. <laughs> I just have to watch the, the cutscene again, unfortunately, don't I? How long was 
is this cutscene, man? Okay. My friend and I as kids struggled so hard with this fight. Thank God final makes us the skip on chain. Right. Like I hear final mix is like uh, like a straight up remix, a, a remix, a remake of this game too. That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. What? You. The keyhole cannot be completed so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. The princess? Kyrie's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go. Give him back his heart. But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What? Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. By the time we beat him, we could recite the screen Kyrie's quote word for word. <laughs> I know all that there is to know. Yeah, it's most Tell likely me. that I'm gonna die Who again, are aren't I? And mock and say, I am Amson. Amson, the seeker of darkness. darkness. So, I shall release you now, princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. Sora! Forget it. There's no way you're taking Kyrie's heart. You 
god oh my god ragnarok so word riku sorry sorry what oh the keyhole is that thing the keyhole right there Not finished yet. What can we do? Maybe we gotta go wake Kyrie up. I think you're right. If we can free your heart. But. But now. Hold on, let me read chat and stuff. I say that a lot of people with strength builds use the Keyblade you get after beating the Hercules Club. So, like, hell yeah, hell yeah. My current playthrough, I have, like, 13 MP. Lol. Nice! Oh, so in Kingdom Hearts, the pilot automatic, you see a Polaroid of Sora, Riku, Kairi, and the guy who uploaded the pilot sells the Polaroid. After a lot of people ask, 10 bucks well spent for a piece of Kingdom Hearts history. So, damn! I was actually watching, like, a video on that and stuff, and, like, dude, let me tell you, the artwork looks so bad. <laughs> the pilot. But, I mean, that's, I mean, it is a pilot and stuff, so, like, it was interesting. I, I, I thought it was cool and stuff, so. Uh, with Glide, his depression move is a joke. Second try. Nice! Thanks! Thank you! Keyblade that unlocks people's hearts. I wonder. Sora? It was a rough draft of a pilot, for sure, for sure. Mofo just stabbed himself. Holy shit. That smile gets me every time. Oh, dude! He had the fucking hearts of, like, all the princesses this whole time? What?!
when you are going. <laughs> Sora. Did he just kill them? Kill himself? What? What the hell? When you are going into darkness, Sora, boy, oh, how are you doing, man? Welcome back, Sora. Caesar, are you really? No, he can't be. I won't let him go. <laughs> Wait, delete those messages. Oh, yeah, I got you. you I got you. At last, princess. I got you. <laughs> the keyhole is now complete. You have served your purpose. What messages? I don't know what you're now talking about. Who the fuck is that? Do you think we can stop him all by ourselves? I don't know. Impossible. No. You won't? Use me for this, Riku. This motherfucker. You gotta run. The Harless are coming. <laughs> the only Twitch room where we cry to Caesar's death in JoJo every time. <laughs> I have no idea who Caesar is, dude. Like, wait, is that Sora? Bro, tell me that's Sora. <gasps> oh! The thing fucking like <laughs> That's a great freeze frame. Dude yeah <laughs> It's so funny. Oh Oh my god. Oh my god. E -E. There you go. I'm gonna just leave that up there and stuff so like Wow I'm actually playing as a heartless. I mean this is Sora right here, isn't it? This is so stupid. Can I go over here, dude? No. <laughs> the way he runs, dude. It's so like, um. Camera freeze. No, I know, I know. I, I just think it's funny. Like, that was honestly, like, the perfect scream, too, and everything. Okay, I'm gonna fix it then, so hold on, give me a second. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Should be working now, so... When you walk away, you don't hear me say, please obey me. Don't go temple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. Okay, I'm I'm just assuming that I'm supposed to go to the main like area. Oh, 
voice of an angel. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder where this would take me if I... Oh, wow. It actually... <laughs> my three hyperfixations right now. Spider-Man, Kingdom Hearts, and Bleach. That explains my taste. So, like, weird? <laughs> Spider-Man? Which Spider-Man? Are, are we talking to the, the video game or just like the, the movies and stuff? <laughs> Kyrie! Hurry! I can't leave them behind. We can't stay here. A Heartless is after us. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Sora! I just like, Dolan just starts beating on him. Dolan just pulls out his Glock and he's just like... <laughs> yep, mm -hmm. and that's the end of the game right there, so like... <laughs> and then like, roll credits, and then all you hear is just like... When you walk away, you don't hear me say... <laughs> Aw, shit, dude. We're gonna have to fight Donald, dude? No way. Mainly in the game, I've been playing Spider-Man Remastered on my PS5 before I start Miles Morales. Nice! Sora? Is that you? <laughs> I knew it, dude! Oh, this is... <laughs> this time, I'll protect you. What the fuck? Bro, Kyrie, please pull out a keyblade. Thank you. Sora. Sora. Oh my god. Sora. Okay. Go now. Come with us. I told you before, I'm not leaving without Bell. Now go. The heartless are coming. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay, you know what's So, all right, all right. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So something's fucking bothering me right here, dude. Like, tell me what happened. Okay, so Sora became a fucking heartless, dude. Right? So that means if you get killed or you lose your heart or some dumb shit like that or whatever, you become a heartless, right? So does that technically means? All the Heartless that we've been fighting are like fucking Disney characters that lost their fucking heart and stuff, dude. Right? So we could have been fighting like fucking like, say, Sully from Monsters, Inc. Or like fucking like Oswald, the lucky like rabbit or like... Who, who the fuck else? <laughs> Mufasa, bro. Like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> like, but... Why was it that Sora could control, like, we could control, like, Sora as a Heartless and stuff, and, like, not everybody else? Like, why is it that everybody, like, that's, that's bothering me. I don't know. So, like, um, uh, but I did re-watch, uh, Into the Spider-Verse the other day. Dude, I gotta watch that I, again. So, like, that movie's so good. She's going to cut her hair like Sakura did in Naruto and calls it helping, so... <laughs> In the manga, Goofy asks how Kyrie knows it's Sora, and her answer is, "This heartless has the same cows as Sora." Really? That's fucking weird, man. <laughs> and Sakura's defense, cutting her hair in that instance helped her get out of that specific situation. Word. He has a strong heart. I'll leave it at that. So, like, yeah. My doctor said that if I have a strong heart for like more than three hours, then to contact him and stuff. Like, it's it's a bit of a serious so problem and stuff. Is flowing out of that keyhole. 
No wonder there are more and more heartless everywhere. <laughs> Peter! The only oh way my god! Is... Seal the keyhole, right? Maybe, but no one knows what will happen once it's sealed. Well, we can't just stay here. We have to do something. I've got a friend back there. That's right. You have one more friend to worry about. Riku's keyblade must have been born of the captive princess's hearts. Just like that keyhole you saw. Of course, without Kairi's heart, it remained incomplete. Once that keyblade was destroyed, the princess's hearts should have been freed. Don't worry, Sora. If anyone can save your friend, you can. What the hell? I thought I was going to be done with this game, dude. It seems the other princesses have been freed as well. Jasmine apparently hasn't returned to Agrabah. I suspect the others are still in the castle, too. Oh damn. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back. I'm not done talking to my friends, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, the PTSD, dude. No! Oh, oh pfft, that's bullshit. <laughs> Look, I like how like the the fucking thought bubble right there is covering her face too as well. Like we know she's dead, so like, eh, like that's how we mourn her by not looking at her face or whatever like that. So like, I thought the keyhole was strengthening the darkness. I mean, the darkness is strong, but still, it's almost as if someone is holding the darkness back. So like. Sorry, he only had Kyrie's heart. Leon just explained that uh, the other six were in Riku's Keyblade that Sora stabbed himself with. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, I think my thing's gonna cut off again. I think. Alright, alright, alright. Shit, that was so fucking stupid. Sorry about that. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. Shit, I, I don't even know where I was doing. But yeah, sorry about that. I went to go turn off like my heater and stuff, but uh yeah, I I, I talked to like my landlord and uh, Yeah, he's gonna replace my fuses on my house and stuff like that. 
So I'm hoping by by next week, this shit ain't gonna be happening and stuff like that. So I hope, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, I've been um, but yeah, I've been learning all sorts of new things about the series this year that I've never caught before. Word, that's awesome. Not sure why, but the heartless are getting stronger. New types of heartless are popping up all over the place. If anything happens to us, I know we can count on you, Sora. Sora, are you feeling okay now? If you're not, then say so. Okay, um... My grandparents are getting a new router next week, so like, nice, hell yeah. New fuses, yeah, like, bam. I'm really, I'm, I'm actually, this is gonna sound stupid, but I am excited. Like, I don't know, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and I also reminded my landlord about like my oven too. I was just like, dude, like you have not fixed my, my oven, dude. Like, what's up with that? Like. You know, are you still doing it? And you know what his response was? He was just like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry. I was just like, bro, I've been texting your wife like to like remind you about that <laughs> for a couple months. She did not tell you anything, did she? So, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's awesome. Pac-Man. That's, that's fucking dope. Hell yeah. Six years old. Yeah, that's, that's old, man. Maybe it's hopeless or ordinary people to oppose the darkness. Okay, why would they stay in the, that castle? Okay, I think I'm supposed to go back into the... The hollow... The hollow bastion then, don't, aren't I? What the fuck? When did these motherfuckers show up right here? Stronger Heartless are appearing now that you've gone through Hollow Bastion visit, so like... Yeah, word! Ah, oh, goddammit. Hey, buddy! What's up, Adrian? What's up? Welcome back, man! Okay. How you doing? How you doing? Wait, wasn't I? Okay. For sure, hell yeah, dude. Okay. The after work high has worn off and now I'm suddenly exhausted. Lol. Have a good night. All right, no worries, Pac-Man. Thank you so much for hanging out today, dude. So like, uh, yeah, thanks again, dude, for everything, so. Uh, have a good rest and I'll see you next time, dude. So, deuces. I'm drinking and having a good time. Nice, nice, dude. Hell yeah. What are you drinking, man? What's your type of drink? I was drinking some. Oh, fuck. I already, like, finished it and stuff. But I was, like, drinking some. Some beer. I don't know what type of beer. It's, it, it's not like an IPA or whatever, like that. So, old English. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice, nice. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never actually tried that. <laughs> Ye old English. Is it good, man? All right.
Mushu. Okay. So, I, yeah, what was I gonna say? So, like, shit, I don't even know, dude. <laughs> We've already done so much, man, so, like... Wait, I can't go back to the castle? Yo, I gotta like, I gotta beat this dude. I gotta beat this man. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright. Dude, you must go on that December 3rd show in Berkeley for the Rhines. It's Marcus' birthday. So like, dude, it's, it's really funny. Because I was actually listening to the Rhines at work, dude. And uh, I think I, I am gonna do that, dude. I'm totally gonna do it. Like, who else was it? It was like... I was also listening to the other band, or like, one other band. It was like, mean... mean something, like... But yeah, it, I, I'm excited. I, I'm gonna ask some of my friends and see if they wanna go too, cause like... It's Gilman, man. Like, it's over there where, like, all, like, the original, like, punk bands, like, started off and everything, so. Da, da, da. Okay. Will not open. Get all your friends for the show, but anyways, if they... <laughs> but go anyways if they fail. <laughs> word, word. Okay. Wait. No, see, that's the, the one that I have right now, so... Hmm. Elixir... So Marcus is a good dude. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna look forward to it and stuff, man. Like hell yeah. So, all right. Mm, okay. Enter together. Enter together. Okay, this should be super easy, dude. He helped the band I managed at the time get a show in SF back in 2005. As I said, those Bay Area people are the only ones I'm still in contact with, with these days with that tour. That's fucking sick, yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I'm gonna- I, I'll, I'll go, I'll go. Hell yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get, like, some of my homies to go and stuff, dude. <laughs> 
Hell yeah. Bro, I'll tell him that Adrian sent me, man. Like. <laughs> Bring money, buy their shirts, so like, wink wink. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I think like the monsters are like powered up. Oh yeah, they're local to you. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah! Okay. Smaller bands in your area you knew, never knew before. Like, yeah, dude. I'm enjoying it. Their music is cool, dude. Like, hell yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm. Wow. <laughs> That's a little better. I do hope to go out there again and reconnect with Marcus. Yeah, dude! That would be sick. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. I hope so. Like, yeah, that sounds cool. Like, and maybe like visit all all of your other friends too as well, dude. Sounds like you. I remember you were telling me you have like friends all over California, dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Motherfucker's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Okay. You think it's cloud? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, 
best you can do. This is it. Farewell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, son. Damn. On December on the that December 3rd show, Uncle Adama is playing. I stayed 2 to 3 days at Yuji's apartment in San Francisco back in 2005. Yuji was in a band with the Ryan's Marcus and Dante in the band called Overdrive AD. Is that the one that you did uh that you helped out back in the day, dude? Bro, it's too cold. It fucking is, man. I just turned off like my heater because like it was like messing with like my stream and everything. Um and I'm starting to feel the coldness again in my my house and stuff. Um, Yuji is the Japanese dude. You can ask him about uh, NYC bands, uh, stackers. So like, dude, hell yeah, hell yeah, bro. I I'll ask them <laughs> if they come out. Okay. Uh, why is this like, dude? This feels like so much more harder than it was before. I don't know. All right, I'm leaving. I'm gonna see if I can like figure out where to go next and stuff so 10 27 so i think for the rest of the night i'm just gonna be playing so like kingdom hearts and stuff so so yeah no like mario maker today so like yeah akrabah so i remember like squall was like saying something about like jasmine and like the the stars like changed to red right there so there's like something up over there too Neverland is also red, dude. Hmm. And I'm, I'm guessing it's harder because, like, this shit turned red, dude. Like. How cold is it for you right now, pollo? So, like, I gotta go get my phone. So, I, I need to see how hot it is. I mean, how cold? Uh, it's fucking 48 right now for me. <laughs> it's, it's not too bad, not too terrible, but it's it's definitely cold. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> It's 54. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, 48 for me. So. <laughs> chili. Chili. It's time to pull out, like, the, the Mexican cobija, bro. Like, with the tiger on it and stuff, dude. So, like. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Where are we going? Agrabah storage, Aladdin's house. So true, dude. Fuck yeah. I need to figure out how if I if I'm sure I can put a blanket over me like during stream and everything. Wait, what the hell? Her mint link for me. All right, I got you. So
Oh, secret boss? This is a secret boss, dude? <laughs> Shout out to Senor Pollo, too. So, Senor Pollo is also a wonderful like content creator and stuff that everybody should go check out. 100% agree with that. So, yo, what was the game that was like Resident Evil but not? So, uh, the indie game? Like, um, uh, the, the one that I was playing like a while back ago, like last year? Uh, what, what are you thinking of Elisa? Uh, yeah, then it's Elisa. Elisa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, Poyo and me were thinking the same thing too, so I love Elisa. I got Yeah, I think that's it. So, like. So, thank you. Yeah, of course. Hmm. <clears throat> Thanks for the shout out. So like, hell yeah, hell yes. So we always need a shout out Poyo whenever we can and stuff, honestly. So like, in the Caribbean items, African culture influence. Bueno, 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 bueno. Bueno, 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 bueno. So like. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ, dude! Oh my god. Uh, my thing is gonna get fixed tomorrow. Like, so... I mean, I'm not... I mean, I am streaming tomorrow, but not at home and stuff, so, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me, let me fix my camera and stuff, so, like... Okay, there we go. There we go. We're back in business, baby! Okay, but like my soundboard isn't working, so like, hold on. Give me a second. Alright, you might hear double. Hmm, okay, so... Hello! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, F. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I have to do that every single time. Like, this thing disconnects and stuff, so, like, but whatever. But whatever, whatever, whatever. So, in the Caribbean islands, African culture influenced the music. For Latin Caribbean, it's Puerto Rico, Cuba, Dominican Republic. The, the percussion section came from the African slaves back in the centuries. Unlike the US, Latin America allowed their slaves to practice their song and dance on their free time. I influenced much of the salsa music. Nice! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah, dude, there's like a... that that's, that's really good to like acknowledge and stuff of like... Like Afro-Latinos and stuff like that, you know? It's... And yeah, you're right. How much that has influenced like cultures, especially in Latino America and or like the Caribbeans and stuff like that. So, uh, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck you. So, yo, boyo, should I actually do this like secret boss? What do you think, man? Like, like what am I supposed to do right now? I I actually don't even know. So, I'm gonna try one more time and stuff. So, all right, ride the carpet. Ride the wind, That does so much damage, dude. Holy shit. And they're dead already. Come 
my god oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh this fucking game dude oh this fucking game this game's getting so much more harder <laughs> oh Funny thing is, uh, I always get mistaken for a white boy. In New York City, many Latinos think I'm of Italian heritage. Like, word? That's what happened to me once, too. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, yeah, I... Like, I don't know, somebody, one of my... One of my friends in high school, like, it's, it's so weird. Like, on our, like... So it was like senior year, and um, we were at this like uh, graduation party and everything like that. Um, like I remember, she just came up to me and she was just like, "Hey, you're Italian, right?" I'm like, "What?" Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. That was the weirdest thing. I'm like, dude, didn't we go to high school f together for like four years? Like, homegirl? Like, I don't know. It's because I don't sound like I'm from the hood, so like, word. Yeah, me neither, dude. So I think that was the thing either, too. So. But I don't mean anything, you know? So, like. I think what's important is. Like. Like, how we feel about ourselves and stuff like that, you know? Anything else from anybody else doesn't matter. Damn, these mofos are gonna die. Bruh, I can't but this fucking guy.
Oh shit. So, I tried avoiding sounding with the, sounding with the hood people all my life to make myself a better representation of myself. I refuse to say the term and all that street BS word, word, word. So, sorry that, that blocked it and stuff. So, like, what was I going to say? So, yeah, I'm going to keep that word blocked because there are, they have been, like, people that, like, come to, like, my chat and try to type that out and stuff and I, I i don't want like all good yeah no no worries but i i completely understand and stuff like that but um no yeah it's just like that type of language i don't want it in my chat and stuff and at least you know yeah yeah i i, I see i see it i see it Oh my god. What am I supposed to do right there? See ya. Fire. See ya. Fire. Come on. Fire. Come on. Fire. Fire. Ow. Fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Sheesh! F, F, F. Okay. I'm gonna try that a couple more times and stuff, so like... I think the minimum you have to be level 85 like dude I don't think I'm near that <laughs> yeah that's why I was just like is this boss required like you said it was secret and I, I just kind of went for it because I don't know what else to do we can't really go back to the hollow bastion either and stuff which is weird okay can I see what level I am damn it's bad. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna let this homeboy kill me. Huh, hmm. Okay, okay. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I'm a 47, dude. <laughs> Nowhere near that, dude. No, and like, look, I think Aladdin can like join us. Yeah, Aladdin can join us. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. Mm. All right, but boy, you know what you're supposed to do after after you do all like that bullshit with like Riku and the Hollow Bastion and stuff. 
I don't know where I'm supposed to go. And yeah, I'm, I, I guess I'm asking for back seating and stuff, so like... Because <laughs> I don't think there's any other worlds I, I, uh, that are new to visit. I thought you were supposed to go to, back to Hollow Bastion, but it won't let me. Look at that. Hmm. I don't know much about this game. All good. All good. Yeah, this is like my first time playing it too as well, so like... I always heard about it, and I, I wanted to see what the, the hype about this game was. Have you talked to Sid? Oh. I have not. <laughs> I see it's Disney characters. Yeah, it's Disney characters characters with Final Fantasy. Or Leon, what have they said? Like, they, they were just telling me that, like, it's weird how, like, the princesses... They haven't gone back to their respective worlds or whatever like that, which is weird. I'm like... I, I, I understand that, sir, but like, um, what am, what am I supposed to do next? <laughs> you know, I think you're right. I might have to talk to Sid because like Sid always seems to have like the solution to like my problems or whatever like that. So, oh my God, it's camera. Okay. Yeah, there he is. There he fucking is. So, Sid, I need to go back to Hollow Bastion. I don't think I can let you do that, kid. The Heartless are there, are multiplying by the minute. They eat your shit up. <laughs> I said shit! I said ship, not shit. I live in a pilot ship. <laughs> I live in a pilot ship. <laughs> then what can we do? Simple, go around them instead of through. Install new navigation gummy and take a new route. A new gummy? From where? The secret waterway. When I came here nine years ago, I stored it in there in case I ever needed it. Okay. Never thought a kid would be the one to use it. Hey, I'm no kid! I'm 35! <laughs> No, I'm I'm 46. Like the the camera just pans into like uh, Sora's face, and he has like hella, hella wrinkles and stuff. I'm actually 69. <laughs> no, I'm Dirty Dan. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No, I'm Dirty Dan. Oh, it's empty. Empty. Like my heart. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. I wonder if we can send anything. No. So he said it's under the waterway or whatever. Uh, let's chat. Come to me for all your gummy needs, got it? I- shit. He said something about the waterway, dude. And I kind of didn't pay attention to it. Wait, am I supposed to- no. So that's blocked right there. Is this a blind playthrough? It's it is. It certainly is. Go back to the alley. Like you mean right here, right? Hmm. Yeah, alleyway. Okay. Yeah, there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was just like, okay, so now. Hold on, I want to go this way. I was just like, wow, I could have just gone through here? Bro, it's because I have the high jump now and stuff. Bro, this high jump is so pog, dude. Oh my god, let me just collect like my items, dude. How are you doing? Welcome into the, the channel, by the way. I, I don't know how to say your name. CRM, uh, CRMC Goo.
Oh, no! Oh, man. Okay. I think I know where... Okay. I remember there was, like, another, like, area that was inaccessible to us at the time. So I'm guessing that's where we have to head off to. Oh, it's Kyrie. What? What are you doing here? Kyrie. Kyrie. What a mysterious mural. It's almost hypnotizing. <laughs> hmm. So stoked to be here. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, welcome in. All right. That was actually kind of cool. Or read child or what the heck? I have no idea how to say that, but... <laughs> There's something about this musty place. Oops. Dude, did she just call me musty? <laughs> you gotta shower, bro. Like... <laughs> Alright, let's go. We gotta see what's up with this. La Luna. Navy gummy. Okay. Oh wait, that's it. That's it. So I guess we gotta go talk to Sid now. Let's go back and join the others. We should rest up. Okay. A light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, your grandma's story, right? That's right. We were together. You know what's funny? I looked everywhere for you, but you were with me all along. Finally, so we're fucking together, cheesy. <laughs> now it's time to get Riku back. You think it'll ever be the same again between us? Riku's lost his. When I turned into a heartless, you saved me, remember? I was lost in the darkness. I couldn't find my way. <laughs> As I stumbled through the dark, I started forgetting things. My friends, who I was. The darkness almost swallowed me. But then, I heard a voice. Your voice. You brought me back. Oh, that makes sense. I didn't want to just forget about you, Sora. I couldn't. That makes sense. So, like, that's that's why I, went, I was just like, how the fuck are we controlling Sora as a heartless right now? Like, that's why I was just like, why is everybody attacking us and stuff? If, like, Sora's not attacking and everything. So, that didn't make any sense to me. But, like, that... I guess it's, like, the, the power of friendship, like, kind of, like, helped them in the end or something like that. That's it. Yo, I'm... <laughs> Okay, it's like this is the funny thing to me, dude. That like I'm joking about the power of friendship, but like it that seems like that's totally the fucking like thing about this game. It's like the power of friendship uh and and also how strong your will of the heart is and you know like just like typical cheesy bullshit, but <laughs> our hearts are connected. And the oh my god broke through the darkness. I saw that light. <laughs> I think that's what saved me. My friends no are my power. Darkness, <laughs> a light shines within. I guess it's more than just a fairy tale. <laughs> well, let's go. <laughs> you can't go. Why not? Because it's way too dangerous. Come on, Sora. We made it this far by Is it because together. she's a girl? That's you fucked can't up. Go alone. Kyrie, That's fucked up. Even if we're apart, we're not alone anymore. Yeah, you know right? what? Okay, I'll shut up. I can't help. You'd kind of be in my way. <laughs> okay. You win. Take this. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't worry. I will. Promise? Promise. Don't ever forget. Wherever you go, I'm always with you.
Oath Keeper. Whoa, that's a sword! That's a new sword! Oh, oh wait, that's Goofy right there. <laughs> All right, what the fuck? Oh my God, okay, this is kind of like, all right. Uh, all right, so poss possesses incredible power by re and reach, but reduces MP by one. Rarely deals critical blows. Okay, so that's like the metal chuckle bow I have. Raises max MP by one and enhances magic and summon power. Capable of dealing a string of critical blows. Okay. Oops. Alright, I guess critical blows are good. But... I don't know. I don't know. It is a really nice looking keyblade though. Like... But... It's not 37, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy well, chat what do you think should i go with the oath keeper or the metal chocobo like i have no idea dun, 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 dun. all right it's already 11 too god damn i'm gonna just talk to sid and i'm gonna just call it a night too as well homies and stuff so oath keeper all right i'm gonna do oath keeper fuck it I'm gonna do Oath Keeper. For Kyrie, bro. For Kyrie, you know? K -k 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 Kyrie. Personally a fan of Oath Keeper. Everybody is saying Oath Keeper. Wow. Okay. K -k 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 Kyrie. All right, let's go. Sheesh! I like the sparkles with this thing right here. It's kind of cool. Open this. Alright, alright, alright. Sid, where the hell are you, dude? You found it! Alright, I'll go fix up your ship. So, going to head to bed, my dude. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I am too. So, what was I gonna say? All set, you can get going anytime. Kid, I gotta say, I wish you didn't have to face all this danger. So, all right, sweet dreams, sweet dreams, boyo. Thank you so much, dude. So I'm gonna give you one last shout out and I'm gonna end stream two right here as well. Um, so yeah, please go follow Senor Pollo. Senor Pollo plays a lot of RPGs too as well. Uh, so Final Fantasy three, <laughs> hell yeah, how's that going? <laughs> And also different like a variety of different games. It's, it's like one of my favorite streamers too as well. So go go tell him how much